Let's say you have some data in Google Sheets. The goal is to create a search bar so that you can type in a search phrase and get back only the records that contain the search text in their description. If you want to learn how to build a search bar like this in Google Sheets, then stick with me because I will teach you everything that you need to know. So the first thing you're going to need is your source data stored somewhere in your Google Sheets spreadsheet. After that, you'll want to specify a space where you can type in your search text. And finally, you will need a space for the results. Now you need to make sure that your result space is large enough to hold all of the possible results that you might get back. In this case, the source data covers two columns. So you want to make sure that the result space is two columns across if you want to return every field from the source data. You also want to be sure that there isn't anything below where your results will be because the number of rows that you get back will change depending on the search text. So it is usually best to leave everything blank below where your results will start. Okie dokie. Once you have your spreadsheet set up like this, you are ready to create the formula that will power your search results. Now you want to enter your formula into the top left corner of your result space. So in this case, that is cell B5. So select cell B5 and then enter the formula equals filter function. And then you want to select the entire source data range because you want back every field, not just the description. After that, add a comma. And for the second argument, enter the is number function. And inside of this function, enter the search function. Now for the first argument of the search function, select the cell that will contain the search text. In this case, that is cell C2. Go ahead and add a comma, and for the second argument, select the one column range that you want to actually search through to find the search text. In this case, you will select the range G5 through G18, which contains all of the descriptions. And that's because you are searching for the search text within the descriptions of each record. After that, close parentheses three times to complete the formula and hit enter. Now, when you type in the search term, you get back only those records that contain the search text within the description. How awesome is that? The big question is, how does this work? Let me show you. The search function looks for the search text within each description and returns a number reflecting the position of that text. Now if the search function cannot find that text, it returns a value error instead. Now this array of numbers and errors is then passed to the isNumber function. The isNumber function returns a true value for each number and a false value for anything else, including errors. You can see here that I also included conditional formatting to highlight all of the records where the isNumber function returns true. Finally, the filter function references the entire data range and returns only those rows that match up with the true values returned by the isNumber function. And as a result, you end up with only those records that contain the search text within the description. And that is how you can create a practical and useful search bar in Google Sheets. Now before I end this video, let me show you one more thing that you can do with your search results. Of course, it's nice to be able to get back a filtered list of results, but I would argue that a sorted list of results would be even better. So a super easy way to sort your results would be to wrap the filter formula inside of the sort function. Once you do that, you can add the column number that you want to sort by. So to sort by the descriptions, you can enter a two because the descriptions are in the second column. And finally, enter a true to sort the values in ascending order or false to sort the values in descending order. In this case, I will set the third argument to true, close parentheses and hit enter. And alas, you end up with a sorted list of filtered results. How amazing is that? So now, the next time you need to create an in-house search bar within Google Sheets, you know how to do it, and you will be able to impress all of your coworkers and colleagues. You can also download the practice file down in the description if you want to try it out yourself as well. 
And that's it for this video. If you learned something new, give this video a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.